All right, back down with the Petty Brothers, Timmy, Mark, and Richie. We're coming off, yesterday we had a open house down here, the Petty Fest, and it made us think of how humbling racing can make people and the different degrees of humbleness that, that you experience in racing. And yesterday we had some people that came out and I guess they come to see us uh, exclusively at the Petty Fest, and that was really humbling to us. And we had talked about the beacon on one episode with Pop Red, and these folks brought us some, some beacon cups. Thank you to our friends from Spartanburg for the beacon cups. We really enjoyed the visit. So we'll Heavy on the red. <laughs> but it was really to have all our family at this uh, festival that, that the Petty Museum puts on was really humbling that the people that would come see us. Don't you think? Well, yeah, because you know they're coming to see Richard. Exactly. I mean, that's Richard. That, he's the man. But just for the, these folks to come and out of their way and bring us a, we're really cup, thankful. We, we, we're thankful for folks like that, and that that is humbling. Yes, it is. So that made us thinking of how different episodes and things of, of race and how you can be really humbled and, and in a hurry. Good and bad. And and that yeah. made made us think of back in 1994 at the um, 125s at Daytona. And uh, we were running pretty good. Yeah, and we'd run good all, all week. week. We'd run yeah. good since oh, we got, yeah. it was one of our better. But that was the week of the uh, when they, you know, they had to, they had Hoosier tires and good years, and it was a, you know, Neil Bonnet got killed that week, and Rodney Orr. So it was a tough weekend anyway. Well, it's been labeled as the toughest speed weeks ever in 1994. And I, I, I would say that's a, a good, lot of reasons I, for it. I, I'll agree with them on that. That was that was a tough week. But we were running pretty good that day. I think we were running ninth, tenth in the one one twenty five. We were solid in the field, running really good, and uh, we were just one of y'all uh, had come across and said, "Hey, you, you're in good shape. Just just cruise, just just ride," because it was early in the race. Well, coming off of four there, I don't know. You know, when you when you're drafting and all, you you have to have a little respect for the guy in front of you, and all, and you kind of stay off of him. That means you got to kind of trail break a little bit and stay off of him. Well, this lap here, we're running in a bunch, and uh, coming off the corner, I guess it was Bobby Labonte. He got into me a little bit, and that sent me over. It got me a little bit loose, and that was at the wrong part of the racetrack because it was the bump at the, the tunnel. Bump right? at the bump at the tunnel. He hit me. I hit the bump, and it knocked me more loose, and then he hit me again and sent us down the racetrack. Well, I think we were the uh, – that was the weekend, the, the roof laps. It was the – we was the first first car to ever use the roof laps coming off of uh, to deploy them coming off four there, and I, I'll never forget that feeling because I've been in a race car and been upside down and flipped, and that's a scary moment when you're coming down and the car gets quiet because that's when the car is lifting up, and that thing just started to lift just a little bit, and it got quiet, and then them roof laps come up and it set it back down, and we were in good shape because we missed the walls now, and we was gonna come back around and change the tires and get back out the caution was out down the back stretch the uh, right front tire blew out and it knocked the fender off the thing remember yeah because it'd been flat spotted from the speed right all yep. that and so it blowed it blowed the tire out whoa car out of control that is richie petty trying to get it back just misses the wall and slides back into the grass yeah. that grass is wet so he's going to take a little slide but he was very fortunate not to hit the wall. Now, that was but the humbling part, this, is, this has been a long story to get to, but the humbling part about this was when we got to the um, the garage, Junie Dunleavy and uh, Harry Hyde and, and all these great folks, they come running to our car and they like, boys, whatever you need from our trucks, we, we want y'all in this race. Come get what you want, get what you need. And uh, so that was... Yeah, group. they were willing to help us fix it. Oh, and then we were just, yeah. just three, 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 three kids from Level Cross trying to make a race. I know the Chief's a big name, but the three of us, it was just humbling for all of us, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Well, we end up the race. Uh, uh, the, we, did, we, we didn't make the race by one spot, I believe it was. Right. So, so that was the next home one, yeah. moment in racing. So anybody like roller coaster ride. Yeah, any, <laughs> anybody want to jump in on that? Well, the NASCAR officials pretty much come to you, even though it wasn't it a lot of water in the. Uh, well, what happened is it was cloudy and it was storms coming that day, 
and then man as soon as the, the bottom fell out as soon as the second race was over the bottom fell out and it the, the garage at daytona was, was flooding bad to flood yeah bad to flood, bad and it was in a lot of water come down at once so it's, we were kind of waiting on the rain and the water to kind of they didn't have that lightning thing going on then no and then and we so here they come around hollering at us Get out of here. You didn't make the race. We, Get out of here by yeah, 5 o'clock. Yeah. They, they just want to go we back and drink. Go to the oyster pub. They just want to go drink beer at 5 o'clock. So they, 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 it's like the Pharisees in the Bible. They just like, well, Get they, out of here. Get out of here. And like I say, the humbling part was <laughs> what, an hour earlier. Yes. We was running 8th, ninth, right. Ready to make the day the And yep. then the next thing you know, we're getting told, but we don't the, care if it's raining or snowing. Get your stuff loaded and get yeah. out of here by Sorry 5. Sorry for your luck. <laughs> yeah. So we're out there in knee deep water loading up. Yeah, so that was that was a pretty humbling moment. Life is humbling. It is. And for sure. But getting back to yesterday, uh, the, the, these folks brought us our cups and all and, and over the years they've had all kinds of events like that that's that people from all over the world or country come and, and, and participate in these the petty fest and, and whatnot and it's just I don't know, I'm appreciative that these that, that People come out and, and talk to us, and I'm glad we were able to do it yesterday. Amen. And then and there's Amen. another part of it. another part of another it. humbling uh, moment too. Like you said, that we started this YouTube channel just to have memories for our family, so they could keep up with it. And the amount of folks that's coming out just keeping up with us, man. We we really appreciate y'all. Uh, tuning in every week and, and, and liking what we're doing and even old friends and oh, new it's, friends. It's, it's amazing that the outreach that we're reaching so that's very humbling for me because I just thought you know two and or three people were watching. We're very appreciative to the fact that some of our old friends from way back are telling us that they really enjoy it and um, heck we're enjoying doing it. Oh yeah. But you know as, as we do these open houses and all and it's, it's another humbling moment is Richard's 85 years old and the people that still come out to support him is amazing I can't I can't get over it. the guy ain't drove a race car in 30 years and 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 people, people still stand in line for hours to get that oh, one it's, it's, it's amazing he's the king yeah that makes me think back in some of the other open houses in 1974 I can remember them having people here 50,000 people strong lined up for a mile just to get the man's autograph and he'd sit there every till, till till the sun went down or everybody in line he would sign everybody's autograph and he did that how many open houses well not sun? just open houses just any event they've ever had he you can depend on him being oh yeah. even after a race at the racetrack right. yeah. i mean but i'm just saying i hear the, they would do these two-day event deals and i, I remember 1974 was a big one and then 1983 is 25th anniversary and then he did the 1988 one, and then the 92. And I can't, I mean, Level Cross became a probably one of the bigger cities in, in, in the state of North Carolina just to come see oh, Richard Petty. It was Petty. big. It was a big well, yeah, like I say, we, we live out here in the country. There ain't nothing going on. And then all of a sudden, all these people come in, and then they're gone, and it's right back like it was. And it's mm. it's just it's neat to see that many people come from so far just to, just to visit. So. Can't even fathom it. We're... We're we're grounded and we understand that how humbling an experience it is and and we we still think this fan support we thank y'all for tuning in our channel and we ask that you like and subscribe and hey we hope we have a lot more stuff to offer for you appreciate you of all the champions in stock car racing Richard Petty is the greatest as you look out here and see all these people. And all of Richard's success. Uh, what does it mean to you? It's uh, what you call an inner satisfaction. I really can't express it, but it's it's an inner satisfaction that uh, you accomplish and it materializes over the years.